Hello, and welcome to the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Lab YouTube channel. This video will discuss the correct method to sample a rumen for suspected cases of toxicity. Rumen contents normally are not as good of a diagnostic sample as the contaminated feed itself. This is because once a feed is ingested, the process of digestion will change the sample so it is not exactly like the feed prior to ingestion. But sometimes it is the only sample that is available because the mismixed feed is gone or the source of the toxin is unknown. There is a common misconception that the rumen is homogeneous. This is not true. The rumen in an adult cow is a 30 to 50 gallon organ that contains many layers of digested material. There is a gas cap, newest ingested feed in the middle layer, and a bottom layer of grain and fluid saturated roughage. This particular cow's rumen is dehydrated and does not show a normal liquid portion in the ventral half. A sample from only one spot could lead to an inaccurate result, so do not take a blind sample through a simple incision into the rumen. Instead, it is best to take samples from four quadrants of the rumen, upper right and left, and lower right and left. Mix these contents to form a homogeneous sample. One pound of this mixture placed in a Ziploc bag is adequate for all testing. For acute toxicity cases such as non-protein nitrogen, nitrates, and cyanide, rumen content is a good diagnostic sample if collected properly. Label your sample with owner's name, clinic name, cow ID, and date. Freeze the sample as soon as possible and transport frozen to prevent degradation from digestive enzymes. Ionophore testing is commonly requested on rumen contents when toxicity is suspected. The results of ionophore analysis in the rumen should be considered as positive or negative. Remember the concentration of an ionophore in the rumen is not quantitative. The reason for this is ionophore toxicity takes time to develop and the mismixing of feed probably took place three to five days prior to clinical signs. Many times this has been corrected in the feed by the time the animal succumbs. Because of digestive degradation and kinetics of the ionophore, you cannot back calculate to find the day of highest feed concentration. Remember that macrolides potentiate ionophores, and normal levels of ionophores in the feed, coupled with macrolide use, can cause toxicity. You cannot do pharmacokinetics of any compound with rumen samples because of rumen digestion. A negative result does not rule out a problem, but a positive result is diagnostic. For more information on this procedure or any other tests we offer, contact Client Care.